from Baldwin Creek Elementary. This is the Bobcat News with your anchors, Katie Anderson and Georgia Chance. where every Bobcat matters every day. Welcome Bobcats. We had a great turnout for our Donuts with Dudes this morning. There were a lot of students who came in to eat a donut. Aloha, today is National Pizza Day. The trivia question for this week is, what is the most favorite pizza? A, mushroom, B, cheese, C, pepperoni, or D, pineapple bacon? We are working on our Atlas project in art. Shanti is going to interview Mrs. Wilhelm about it. Part of the project will involve making movies. Logan is also going to interview Mrs. Thomas about using iMovie. Can you explain what the Atlas project is? Yes, we're creating a movie um, based on the Papoja watershed and we're learning all about iMovie and uh, different science topics mm -hmm. like agriculture, recreational water, residential water. So I think it's a fun project. Okay. Uh, how did you decide that the movie would be a good project for us? I think it's fun and um, enriching to do a cross-curricular project and so incorporating science into art is uh, just a really good idea and um, I think it enriches everybody. Okay. Um, what are we learning in doing this project? Um, we're learning about our local environment and how to produce a movie. And I think that we're just learning so many things, it's hard to kind of encapsulate that into one small thing. Okay. What does ATLAS stand for? Oh, it stands for Atlander Arts and Sciences. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Hi. I'm Logan, and I'm here with... Mrs. Thomas to interview her on iMovie. Um, what is iMovie? iMovie is an app that um, we got to practice with on iPads here at the school. Uh, we're helping out Mrs. Woodhelm in art and um, you basically can practice making your own little movie. You can take little videos, you can add in audio, you can add in filters to change the color of um, the screen, you can um, add in sound effects um, and just have a really good time with it and make your own personal little small movie. Um, how do you use iMovie responsibly? I think the biggest thing is when you are doing this you're not of course videoing inappropriate material and you're not using any foul language or being any, in any way disrespectful. I feel when we practiced it here in the computer lab at school that everyone did a great job. It's a fun way to use your creativity and to uh, learn what kind of artistic skills you have in a different, in a techie sort of way. Um, is there anything you would like to add? I would like to actually encourage children to do it. I think students really, what I got to see out of the students while we were doing this was just really neat, fun things. Um, Everybody just had a really good time. I saw more laughter and kids in a group having such a great time that um, I think it can be a real positive asset to our technology world. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The trait of the month is optimism. Brayden is going to interview Mrs. Mitchell Smith on what optimism means and why we focus on the trade of the month. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Mitchell Smith talking about the trait of each month. What do the puzzle pieces mean? Well, each puzzle piece represents a teacher observing the month's character trait three times. Okay, what does the word optimism mean? Well, when you're optimistic, it means that you are looking at the positive side um, of things. And in the school, we talk a lot about growth mindset mm -hmm. and how important it is that we don't become fixed and 
our negative thinking that we're able to recognize when it's happening and push ourselves to, to see, you know, the better side of things. And I thought that this month kind of coupled well with um, doing some of the growth mindset that we're doing. Okay. Why are we focusing on a trade each month? Well, you know, we're a learning community. And every day you guys are expected to come here and you work very, very hard um, on academics. And our character development is just as important um, as our academic achievement. While we're faced with all kinds of challenges, because you are in school, it's also important to acknowledge and recognize um, how important developing our character strengths are so that we can also become better, stronger people. Do you have anything to add? Um, no, just that each month I'm also choosing um, a student based on nominations from other students to complete the puzzles. So um, keep up your good character and all of the kind things that you're doing for one another so that you can be recognized and hopefully create a little work of art. Now back to Katie and Georgia. Lots of new sports are starting up. Let's check in with Paxton and Addy on upcoming sports. Addy and I are here with the sports information. Junior Jazz basketball started. If you are signed up, remember to practice those basketball skills and go to the practices. Play your hardest during your games. Bobcats Wormers are still training for the Spook Splash on the weekend of the 27th and the 28th. The fitness testing in PE is successfully over. Lots of records were broken. Here are the results. For fourth grade, boys pacer Finn McFadden with 69. Girls Curl Up, Ella Giesman of 129. Girls Push Up, Britt Richards of 46. For fifth grade, Boys Pacer, Sawyer Knockhazel with 75. Boys Curl Up, Blake Martell with 104. Boys Push Up, Landon Ryan with 42. Girls Curl Up, Zoe Samansky with 155. Girls Push Up, Katie Anderson with 50. We have started a new activity in PE called Spike Ball. We will be talking with Miss Adnip to get more information. I'm here with Miss Atnip to talk about spike ball. What skills are we learning with spike ball? There are lots of skills that we can uh, work on with spike ball, such as ball handling, athletic stance, um, striking, uh, and working with the team. Cool. Where did you get the idea to do spike ball? Um, spike ball is used by lots of schools and uh, even at home. Uh, Mrs. Reagan, a former PE teacher in our district, she actually had the set um, and the PE, different PE programs in the district just share it. Um, right now the boys are trying to get three volleys and then a, and then a spike, um, which is kind of a lead up to the actual spike ball game. Cool. What's the goal for spike ball? Uh, it's similar to volleyball where you get, you have up to three volleys and then you have a spike. What are some new um, activities coming soon that you would like to talk about? This is going to lead up to volleyball. Cool. And now for the sports joke. Why did the basketball player bring his suitcase? Why? Because he travels a lot. And now we're passing it back to Georgia and Katie. The weather is getting nicer, but who knows? It's Lander. It could snow next week, so be prepared. Let's go to Erica to find out what is going to happen with the weather. We should have be having some nice fall weather next week. <coughs> Monday will be mostly sunny with the, the high is 58 degrees, the low is 37 degrees. There is no chance of rain. On Tuesday it will be partly cloudy, the high is 57 degrees, the low is 37 degrees with a 10 percent chance of rain. On Wednesday, it will be sunny with a high of 57 degrees and the low is 37 degrees with no chance of rain. Thursday will be partly cloudy. The high is 54 degrees, the low is 35 degrees with a 0% chance of rain. Last on Friday, it will be partly cloudy. The high is 49 degrees and the low is 33 degrees. There will be a 10% chance of rain. We need to remember to show that Bobcat pride in the hallways. Kaylin is going to interview Mrs. Hill to review the hallway procedures. My name is Kaylin and I'm here to talk with Mrs. Hill about hallway procedures. Why is it important to do correct hallway procedures in the hallway? Well, the hallways connect all of the rooms and so if people aren't following the rules in the hallway, they're making a lot of noise or banging on and they're making a lot of noise or they're banging on the wall, then it's distracting the people that might still be in class. 
Um, it's also one of the rules, so if you're following the rules, then you would be doing what you're supposed to be doing in the hallway. Okay. What should we do if someone is talking in the hallway? So if you're in line and somebody's trying to talk to you, I think the best thing to do is probably just give them a zero, like a silent signal, and then just don't talk to them and keep walking facing forward the way you're supposed to. Um, and is there anything you want to add? I do. I want to actually add that another reason why it's important to, um, to follow the rules in the hallway is for safety. So if people are um, all over the place, somebody could get tripped and hurt, or um, if we're trying to leave the building, we need to be careful that we're watching out for other people. So. Okay. Thank you. No, you're welcome. Now for this week's reminders. Parent-teacher conferences are next week on Monday, October 22nd, and Tuesday, October 23rd. Remind your parents how important it is for them to attend your conference. The book fair will be set up during parent-teacher conferences next week. Make sure you stop in and buy some books. Each student will be given $5 off the purchase of your books. This only applies to books and not the other toys or items. Everyone will be going to the public library next week to watch the Halloween plays. They are always entertaining and enjoyable. Make sure you show your best bobcat traits by being respectful and responsible. You get a day off from school next week. There is no school on Friday, October 26th. Keep reading to reach those AR goals and keep walking to earn those blazing bobcat miles. Now time for that trivia question. If you guess C, pepperoni, then you are correct. Aloha, Bobcats! We are going to end this broadcast with swimming pictures from the Bobcat Mileage Reward. Bye, Bobcats! See you next week on the Bobcat News.